All right. Welcome back. We have box four. Four. Yeah, he four almost six. forgot the intro because he was going to tell a story immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, somebody at work. We're we're just complaining about. I wasn't complaining. Matt was talking about uh, the computer. Oh yeah. Kind so of I was saying it. if if there's a problem, it's probably Windows update, unless it pertains to Streamlabs, and then it's probably Streamlabs. But if there's a problem pertaining to Windows Update, it could also still be Streamlabs. Correct. Uh, cube. Frost Dragon. Hammer of Perforous. If you need more of these, I got I got you. I think I have two or three. All right, I'm, I got you. Probably going to be okay. So this week I had somebody who got a... Mind you, this person was like, why don't I get a new computer? Why does everybody else get a new computer? I want a new computer. Mine's the oldest here. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. That's, that's actually what their voice sounds like. Correct. Too. It's very, very close. Yes. Um, all right. Foil Varus. Um, I like that card. So I hope it sees play. That actually looks pretty cool. So they finally it got it. looks like an etched foil. It, it looks different. A little bit different, yeah. don't it? So they got a new computer. And all I heard, mind you, this computer sat... Behind me, oh, that's the, like, over the course of a month, right? Getting different programs loaded whenever I had time, because I don't always have the time. He's he's the IT person that's not an IT person. Bingo. Um, I'm the closest thing we got, or the best thing we got, I should say. Yeah. And, uh, it's like, never had an issue. Never once had a problem with this thing shutting down, blue screening. She gets it, and in one day, all I hear is this is the biggest POS she's... And she actually came down and said, this is the biggest POS computer I have ever you know had. What CPU is in it? No. Off the top of your head? Oh, no. Okay, also, don't even... It's an Intel. I can tell you that much. Wow, because that narrows it down. <laughs> yep. I can <laughs> tell you that much. And uh, Even if you said it's a 10th gen, you'd be like, that doesn't narrow down. No, either. no. <laughs> I could look if I could log in yeah. and find it, right? But, like, and sh all I hear is that it blue screens multiple times, at least three every day, but usually once an hour. Multiple times, at least three, but usually once an hour. That tells you how much work she's doing in one day. In a day. And I'm like... She does about three hours of work every day. Yeah, right? And uh, so I literally just, all I hear... And I didn't set the computer up in her office because I didn't want to be the person to go in there to tell her off. So I made the business manager do it. And then I go in the next day, this is like three days later, um, to drop something off. And I realize not only is she bitching about it, I don't know where the computer's at. Like, finally find it. It's laying down with the vent face up a monitor stand over the, on the top of the case. Excuse me. Yeah, vent face up. Monitor with a stand right over the top of the vent. And I'm like, well, now we got we had all, all sorts of issues, right? Could have overheating problems because there's just one little vent on the new style cases and stuff's not meant to be laid down like that. Blah, blah, blah. And I just... I don't want to say I lost it, but I came close. To it. So then, after call that going postal. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close, right? Um, after about a week, business manager's not there, and she finally comes down to my office and says, "I can't handle this. I need blah 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 blah." I'm like, "Go back to your old, mind you, her old computer. Literally, you click something and then walk away. Go make lunch, come yeah. back, and it finally might open." Um, and, uh, I'm like, do you have your old computer? She's like, yeah. I'm like, just put it back in there. Whatever. She loads her, grabs her old computer, plugs it back in, goes to load her old computer up. It won't fire up. So then she comes down and goes, do you have a laptop? I'm like, not one that's updated, but it's the best you're going to get right now. An hour later, she's still dinking around. So we're now like three hours into the day. She hasn't done anything. And uh, 
she's like comes down and says, "Oh, guess what? My my old computer finally started working." Texted business manager and I was like, dude, if I have to hear, and he's on vacation, and I was like, if I have to hear about this thing one more time, it's getting office space. And was like, she is not the new computer. I, There's nothing wrong with the new computer, man. I didn't say she would. That's violent. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just put her in the other room. Don't pay her. And oh, Milton, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Whoa, that works. Don't know where you went with the that one. Machine. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say that. <laughs> so he was like, "Well, when I come back, I'll turn it to Lena. That's kind of cool." He's like, "When I get back, I'll, I'll look at the computer." I'm like, "Well, bring it down here. I want to see what's going wrong." I fire the computer up, open Task Manager, and the first thing I see is that both CPU and memory are at a hundred percent utilization. And I'm like. The hell is going on here? And there's like one program running that has like nine instances of it. Volo. Fly. An M15 common. That's an exciting <laughs> list card. I'm going to say it every time. I know. So I have to go looking and I find out that it's literally drivers for this like old scanner that she has single page scanner by the way you put one page in at a time she loaded new drivers and gets some like ai program to read her i i don't even know so i like uninstall it and immediately drops down to like one to two percent cpu usage and 46 percent memory utilization and i was like oh fix fix yeah it's like pretty good and i'm like looking at it and i'm like oh it's trying to install the Windows updates that it's been trying to, like, actually download for a week. Like, and that I don't... is why you don't allow non-administrators to install programs. Oh, uh, you know what? The... I know. I oh, know. no, it gets... That's a, that's a headache in its own. Yep, and it gets, it gets even better because... But wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. I didn't realize this computer didn't have a CD-ROM drive. <laughs> To be the first one that we've bought that doesn't have a CD ROM drive, right? When I built all the PCs in this building, first thing Pat comes up and he's like, Where's this CD ROM? And I was like, We don't have them, we don't need them. And he's like, Well, how am I gonna listen to music? I was like, <laughs> Spotify, YouTube, be like a normal person. Yup, yup. <laughs> so, oh, this is my various, that's okay. I didn't realize it, and like, that's on me, I guess. So I probably not ordered really. I probably ordered two dozen computers, right? Replaced almost everything in the shop. How many CD ROMs do you actually drive do you actually think we've needed? Zero. Exactly. Yeah. So she was like, she literally looks at me and says, you know, I understand that it was because of whatever I downloaded as to get a new driver. All of this could have been completely avoided if I would have had a CD ROM drive. Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh? She's like, because that thing's so old that it comes with a CD. I was like, so that's all you need it for? Go get the right driver mm -hmm. or ask me the next time. She's like, well, I have other stuff. I'm nervous. Like, like what? She's like, well, pictures and stuff that I have. I was oh, like, on a company computer. I was like, you should probably move your pictures and other stuff you have off of antiquated CDs and move them to, I don't know, a hard drive somewhere? Or something that you might actually be able to pass between stuff. And I walked away. I was very mad. <laughs> I looked at somebody else. And they started to open their mouth to ask me, like, if everything was okay. And they shut up. <laughs> Just looked the other way. I was not a happy camper. And, like, I don't think people understand. Ooh, there's a Demolish. Ooh, that's your first one, isn't it? Uh, out of, out of my boxes, I think so. Yeah, I did open one out of a like prize pack or yeah. one of the another pack. So I think I have two, which is actually pretty cool. Um, let's think about trying that tempo list using that, and then just a bunch of cheap spells. I also just realized opening boxes is perfect time to tell a story. No story time. No, it's not up. story time. Story time fills up good. 
good amount of box Okay, opening. but good story time. Shut up. I have to listen to him complain via text message all week long, and then it's like, true. It's I get true. to I actually get to say something, and he's but like, "We're what, venting what? on." Well, you're what? venting on the internet. Now. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't no. care. It's your channel. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Ooh, piece of candy. Piece of candy. Two. Did you peek? Well, I went to move the first one <laughs> and saw the second. The first one I thought was good. It was like, okay, right? Planeswalker, always good. That's your first one of those, too. It is, it? yeah. So, Mythic Red Dargan. Nice. And triple rare pack. Yeah. Painful lesson from, what is the, the battle bond? Yeah, sure. Excellent list card. Very exciting. <laughs> Much wow. Much wow. Yep. <laughs> Five of the Eye Tyrant. Okay. That's pretty cool. I wish that this was like this was like the alternate art for. Yeah, that would be cool. I think some of those arts are really good. Very classic looking. Yes. Treasure chest. Royal cleric class. Royal Heliod. So yes. people, so people have started calling it. Okay. Cheap Heliod. Okay. You don't even know what it does. Nope. And as you're trying to read it and still don't know what it does. Nope. I can't read it. It's the glare. Is that what it is? It's also a white card, and I don't really play for white cards. Either. What? Okay. Critical hit. Uh -huh. It's an uncommon. Uh -huh. Barb class. It's an uncommon. Uh -huh. Faraday. It's an uncommon. Uh -huh. Faraday. It's an uncommon. <laughs> Nice. So one of those must be a different slot or yeah. something, right? Yeah. I think it has to be. Sphere of Annihilation. Sorry, I just thought that that was kind of... That, that was, was kind of goofy. Was no sleight of hand either. I'm not that good. Oh, sleight of hand is not in the set, by the way. Dang, it should have been. Peaked again. You need to stop doing that. I know. I didn't mean to. That's I got a teleportation always, circle. That's pretty cool. That's what they always say. Like, that's, like, not what a bad card. What borderless is it? Ooh. Foil. Foily. Foil borderless. Zerial. This is the first Zerial. Boxes are hot fire. Five minutes ago, they were garbage. <laughs> No, 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 it was 13 and a half oh, minutes ago. Sorry. The one was. The one was not great. I mean, but I might as well follow this up with a jellyfish. And another cereal. <laughs> okay. I don't mind having multiples of Planeswalker, right? Yeah. Like, seems pretty good. Obviously, some of them just don't get played, but... Or don't get played by you. Correct. But having them are... Yeah. Never really a bad thing. I. Saber Ants. I'm Matt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yup. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I think it's my first cloister gargoyle, too. In that alternate... Yeah, I don't pay attention to the uncommons. So. I'll be honest, I don't pay attention to much. Bucks, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Foil Owlbear. Owlbear. Is it hoot or growl? It's a bird bear. It yeses. <laughs> yeah? Yep. <laughs> I thought you said yeses, not yup. Same thing. No, like no yes. they're not. Apparently, yes. apparently they're not. Consult the YouTubes. Oh. No, it's Yup and Yip. Is that what it is? That was the comment. Yup, yup, and, yup yip. and Yip. Oh, okay. Not not like it matters much. <laughs> and Swamp and Swamp. <laughs> yup, Yup, Yip. Uh-huh.
Um, ooh, I think it's the first skeletal swarming I've opened. I think so too. Need uh, at least one more of those. I really read, obviously, like four, but. All these darn mythics. You need one more because you're planning on playing two in your deck, right? I don't know. I'd like to have the option for a second one in the side work around there. Uh, Acerac. Don't mind the mythics. Didn't open an ooze. There's an extra R in there. Acerac. Acerac. <laughs> Acerac is wrong. Acerac. Ace. Yeah. Done. <laughs> what is this Done. name? Ace. Sup, Ace. <laughs> Uh, that's also, I think, my first meteor swarm. I wonder if it's, like, Ace Rerick or something. Rerick. I'm sure there's somebody out there that will tell us. Yeah. Monk class. Don't research. All right, last pack. Need a mythic. Not looking. Nope, not looking too. Lucky Warhound, which is like Knight of the White Orchid, right? Yeah. All right. So that is box four. And. What's up, Josh? So, 31. 34. 46 40. Mythics. So, yeah, so we ended with 40, which is pretty good. Six Mythics, seven, I guess seven if you count the foil, yeah. right? Um, so, not too shabby. Again, not bad. Not, 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 not too bad. bad. Not bad. Not horrible. So uh, that's pack or box four. So stay tuned for box five.